Where the fuck is my controller? Oh, there it is. Hey, uh, welcome back to The Walking Dead, uh, part 3, I think. Uh, sorry, it's been a while. But uh, I have basically had some stuff to do and um, haven't, had time to play, haven't had the time to play this game. So we're just gonna resume the game. And in the last episode, the Duck and Clementine had sex here in the barn. If I remember right. So we're gonna check on them. See what they have done. There can be stuff everywhere. So. I'm gonna interrupt them. I can hear sounds. <laughs> Just kidding, sorry. Hello? Oh. There we go. Oh! Hello. Oh no! It's Mr. Cow! No, it's awake! He's it's gonna okay, eat Clementine. us all! You can pet her. Pet her? What? It's okay, Hit go ahead. fucking American slang words. Don't know them. Cause I'm Swedish. And that's what I am. Whoa. Yeah, right there. Yeah, Katya says Augusta. Mabel could have her baby tonight. Whoa. whoa, whoa. We'll see, Clementine. Hey, what's that? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. <laughs> yeah, but don't it's lick so it. It's stupid. gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Did you train your sexual stuff? Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Ah, the sorry, can't right now. Woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh... He probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Duck. You're stupid. Have I'm not I missed anything? You. No, no, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Really? Like do Whoa. <laughs> Kids. Don't do anything stupid now. In a couple of years, baby. Clem time. Give her the hat. Here, Clem time. My hat! You found it! Oh no 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 no! I shouldn't have given it away. Did you find it? I needed it. Well, you did tell me it was a birthday present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Oh no. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, oh, snap. I will. Hey Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? <laughs> What the fuck do you gonna answer in that? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're uh, welcome, yeah. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. I can watch. Hey, I need to talk to How her. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. How do you like that cow, Clem? What the fuck do you think it's a cow? How do you like that cow? No, 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 no. She's pretty. I want to talk to the girl behind you, Clem. I'm in the way. She looks skinny. <laughs> really? Uh, I'm done in here. Whoa, someone was screaming in my stairs. What? Well, there's my food today. Nothing interesting here. Uh. Do I need to check everything in here? Oh, come on. There's nothing interesting here. Oh. I can't see shit. Empty. <laughs> Empty.
You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. A robot. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? Don't put pressure on me, man. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back no, me up in case that lock farmers come running. Oh, hammer time, oh, bitches. Man, think this through. No. You smash the lock. No, we can't do that. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, yeah, that's professor, right. what you have in mind? Use your brain. Let me have a look at what one. we're dealing with first. Screw. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Yeah, I know. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Take it easy, Kenny. Hmm. Take a shot. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. And <laughs> shit, I thought yeah, I'm gonna watch the cow. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Oh snap. No. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. Oh you really? Know, the bandits here's are animals here that can kill us. Friend. It's not good. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. I don't think it's a good idea to get in there. Distract Andy. Uh, can it? Can it distract him? Do something. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Fuck you, Andy. <laughs> so, oh, no. a woman like yourself run this whole place. Oh, I managed just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Get the fuck away from her, bitch. Okay. What can we do here? Maybe we can do something with this. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. No shit. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Hmm. Whoa, can you go up here? Hey bitch. Wanna talk to What's me? What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? No. There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Yeah, it didn't it's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. 
Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Yeah, a bitch. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's oh, all just my. to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me yeah, for sticking by him. Much, so he's my dad. Because he's treating me like a fucking him. asshole. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist yeah, on you wandering around, that? I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Shake your ways and watch yourself. She's dead. Nope. I'm not gonna see more of that shit. What the fuck can we distract him? Mm, no, 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 can't go farther, further. Okay, there's nothing here. Maybe something about that shit. Oh, fuck it, it's in my nose. Power switch. Switch. No, no. Oh, if I was gonna start. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Stealing shit. But they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Yep, it would. But not right now. They're storing gasoline all over the property. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. That's right. Hey, Danny, my friend. Oh, hello. Well, hello to you too. User today. My girl here. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? What are you talking about? Not anymore. Like, Hard to find. Used to get these school kids not on the tools back before the dead time. I'm, I'm gonna go wait for supper then. You know, It'll be a good one. Batman. Bap man. Well, he's creeping. What? Oh, oh, I gotta interrupt him right now. Hey, bitch, stop talking. Oh, he's mad. We'll, Are you uh, mad, bro, now? We'll finish talking later. Are you mad, bro? You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> he's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh. Don't know if I would have used those words exactly. 
Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every I haven't done anything in this episode, just talking to shh, people. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my <laughs> boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I yeah. still like to check Mark's on tough. Him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. No, no, you don't, bitch. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. My boys. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. They gotta go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Oh snap. Anyway, I think that's pretty much for episode. Apart from three, I mean. We didn't do anything. We just talked to everyone, and um, it felt pretty pointless this episode. But anyway, here it is. Pause the game. Saying goodbye. Looking at achievements and shit. Going pretty good so far. Got five left. But anyway, game is win. Signing off. See you in part four.